listen to the life of Henry Martin. He had warts covering the back of his hand, warts on his faces, eyebrows, eyelashes singed. He was not a welcoming looking man. He was a Cambridge scholar. And people tell us that when he was a scholar at Cambridge and the cricket games and all of those would be played, he'd be standing behind a tree someplace, always afraid to go and get involved in a conversation with anybody so conscious about the warts that covered his body and the unattractive face that he had. He was a genius. Do you know, a lovely young girl fell in love with this man because of the mind that he had and the kind of gentleman that he was. Her name was Lydia. Henry Martin was one day sitting in a church service and somebody was talking about India and the need for the missionary, the need for the gospel. And young Henry Martin in his 20s, his heart began to pulsate and throb with the need for telling the people of India the gospel of Jesus Christ. He walked away from there, his head in the clouds, asking God if that's what God really wanted of him, even though he considered himself such an unworthy servant. Do you know what happened in this man's life? He went on, knocked on the door of the girl who was dearest to him in all the world, who had caused his heart to pound with a deep passion and love and romance and commitment to her. And he said, Lydia, God has asked me to go to India as a missionary. I'm not worthy of that calling, but he's asked me to go. Would you join with me after we are married? Let's go to India and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And she said to him, Henry, if there's one part of the world I never want to go to, I don't want to go to India. And he said, how can you make such a statement? She says, I don't know, but my heart has that. I do not want to go. He loved her. He pleaded and begged even for a short term to trust him and go with him. And finally, they came to a head-on collision course on this. And Henry Martin says when he was praying one day, he began to struggle in his heart. Is it going to be Lydia or is it going to be India? Is it going to be Lydia? Is it going to be India? When it dawned on him, it really wasn't Lydia or India. It was Lydia or God. This man came to my country in India. And from there he went to Persia. He was dragged across a desert in chains. He suffered much at the hands of his tormentors. There are churches in Calcutta that bear his name today. He went to India and then went on to Persia. He died when he was 31 years old. Do you know what he gave to the world before he died at age 31? The translation of the New Testament in Hindustani, in Persian, and in Arabic. Three versions of the New Testament by one man who died at age 31. Do you hunger and thirst after his will? And I hope some of you will be willing to lay at the altar that which you have clung to for a long time.